Hello, welcome to this short video demo where I'll show you how to add FOSCAM IP cameras to CamCloud. CamCloud is a cloud service that works with a wide variety of IP cameras, including FOSCAM of course, as well as uh, connected webcams uh, to provide a bunch of different cloud services to use with these cameras. So things like cloud storage uh, for your videos and images, uh, mobile apps that work on iOS and Android, uh, live viewing from uh, mobile, uh, from the apps as well as over the web, as well as really a unified uh, camera management interface so you can manage all your devices from one application. And so we work with a variety of cameras uh, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add FOSCAM IP cameras to the service. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create uh, an account at campcloud.com and once you do that, you just log in and you'll be taken to the cameras page. And that's where we are right now. And so to get the service set up, the first thing you need to do is you need to add a camera. And it's a fairly straightforward process and I'll show you how to do that right now. Now there's a second widget here called Global Motion Detection. I'll explain what that is in a moment. Uh, but we're going to focus here on Add Camera. And so there are a variety of uh, different cameras supported by the service, as I mentioned already. Uh, we support connected webcams, so this would be a, a USB webcam, for example, that you would use with uh, Skype, again, as an example. We support the Access IP cameras. Uh, and we also have uh, open support for really any uh, type of IP camera that has an FTP client and supports uh, video compression standards like H.264 and MJPEG. So the platform's open, you can mix and match the devices that you want to use with it, uh, and the idea is that you can use uh, all your different devices with one service. But as I've already mentioned, the point of this uh, video is to show you how to add a FOSCAM camera. And so we're going to go ahead and get started and do that right now. So obviously you just click the FOSCAM button, and then once you do that, there's an available uh, pick list of all the models uh, supported by CamCloud, which is most of the FOSCAM models. And so all you just do is scroll down and uh, pick your model. And in this case, um, I'm going to add a 9821W. That's one of their newer H.264 cameras. Uh, it's a great camera. Uh, and it's one that uh, I gather is quite popular with their customers. And so we're going to go and add one of those cameras. And once you do that, a few different fields uh, show up. And I'll walk you through these uh, fields. The first thing you have to do is give the camera a name. Now this is just uh, an identifier for you uh, to be able to recognize the camera in the apps. Uh, so I'm just going to call it Office FOSCAM. And then you need to provide the username and password. Now this is the uh, username and password for the camera, uh, not for CamCloud. Uh, so every camera has to have uh, some login credentials. And you should have uh, created those when you set your camera up for the first time. And so you put those in here. And then there's a couple network uh, fields here, network related fields here that you need to add. The first is the external IP address. Uh, this, uh, our service defaults to what the IP address is uh, from the device where you're setting up your camera. And so that's correct. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to add the port. Now I'll just take a sec to explain uh, these two fields quickly. Uh, but the basic idea is you need to uh, set up something called port forwarding. Uh, it's a fairly uh, straightforward uh, process. Uh, we have a network setup guide that can walk you through it. Uh, but the idea is, is that if you want your camera to be accessible from the uh, outside your network, uh, then you need to uh, assign it a port and make that port available uh, to the internet. Uh, so it's a, again, it's a fairly straightforward uh, process. It's supported by uh, all the routers out there, and we have a guide to walk you through it. So I've already uh, set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a port and um, go ahead and add my camera because I've already done that step. Now the, the last thing here is a checkbox, enable auto setup. And so we have an auto setup feature for uh, a large number of the FOSCAM cameras. Uh, really they're H.264 cameras. Uh, and I'm going to leave that checked. But if I deselect it, uh, the, what that means is there's a couple extra steps uh, required uh, to finish the setup, and I'll show you those in a few minutes. Uh, but since the feature is available for my camera, I'm going to leave that checked, 
and all I do is press add and I should be good to go except hang on I got an error here and so what this is saying is that cam cloud really can't connect to your camera so there's some sort of network error you probably uh, don't have the right IP address or the ports incorrect or port forwarding is not set up properly and I know I set up port forwarding and I know this is my IP address so just kind of double check okay well what happened here is I actually put in the incorrect port it was just a typo uh, but cam cloud uh, recognized that for me and uh, made sure that I corrected before pr proceeding with the additional steps and so now I'm gonna go ahead and add that camera now what the camera is in my camera list and it's available uh, to uh, start using but before I go and do that I'm gonna go ahead and add a second camera and this time I'm gonna add one of their MJPEG cameras I have an older uh, one of their cameras I gather it's one of their more uh, popular ones uh, the 8910W uh, and it's one that uh, we have here at the uh, the office so I'm gonna go ahead and add that one and again same idea you pick your model from the pick list and you see it here and then these fields open up. What you'll notice immediately is there's no auto setup uh, checkbox. That because that's just because this is uh, one of the models where uh, we haven't uh, created an auto setup, uh, but we probably will add it shortly. But if it's uh, if it's not there, it just means there's an additional extra step, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'll walk you through that. So same idea. I won't explain all these fields again, uh, but I just put Office Foscam number two this time. And then, of course, I need to add my camera password, and I need the correct port. And so there it is. And so I'm just going to go ahead and add that camera. Now, when I add this uh, camera, uh, something slightly different happens. And what is immediately shown to me is my FTP credentials. To, so to finish the setup, this is the extra step I was referring to. To finish the setup, you need to uh, take the supplied FTP credentials, and you need to add them into your camera. And so all the Foscam cameras uh, have an FTP client. Uh, there's an area in the setup uh, on the device where you can just add these FTP credentials. And once you do that, there's a little test button inside the camera to make sure it works, um, and you're off and running. And so this is kind of the, the last extra step required uh, for uh, if there's no auto setup uh, checkbox. Uh, so it's fairly straightforward, but it's just an extra step. And if you're not sure, we have a setup guy that can explain this to you. So at this point, I now have two cameras. Uh, one is the uh, MJPEG camera, the 8910, and I can still go and get the FTP details uh, at any time. And then I have the H.264 camera with the auto setup. So I'm ready to go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go and check the live video and you can see that the cameras are in my camera list and I can add them and boom boom there's my live video and so I can expand uh, the size of the uh, screen and I can have actually four streams going at once but in this case I just have two cameras so that's how easy it is to quickly uh, get live video going uh, for your Foscam camera and then the very last thing I want to show you just to, before I close off the demo is the other big feature that we provide is cloud storage and so if you want to capture things like uh, video and images uh, image snapshots when there's motion in front of your camera uh, we support that and we'll save that in the cloud for you so in, in, in order to enable that across all of your cameras there's a global motion detection uh, button and you want to turn that on and then of course you need to make sure that each of your individual cameras have motion detection enabled as well. So you need to do it at the two levels and it gives you lots of flexibility uh, to configure the cameras the way you want. And so this global motion detection is really like your uh, alarm button, uh, alarm, uh, disarm and arm button that you would see in an alarm system. It's available on the mobile apps, it's available on the web, and so when you come and leave the premises you can turn the cameras on and off. And then the last thing is the H.264 cameras uh, have a nice uh, option here where you can decide whether you want to capture images, uh, image snapshots, whether you want to capture video, or whether you want to capture both. And I actually uh, like video, and so I'm going to uh, default mine to video. And then now I'm ready to go. And as there's motion in front of my camera, I'll just jump to the recordings page, and I'll be able to see uh, the images and the videos that have been captured uh, by CamCloud and so that you can see them here all these exciting images uh, from the office and so that's basically in a, 
it in a nutshell. It uh, really just takes a couple minutes to add a Foscam IP camera to CamCloud. We hope you enjoy the service.